What is going on guys? Today I'm back with another quick tutorial. Uh, this time I will be teaching you how to get the maximum uh, maximum quality on Adobe After Effects and the lowest size. So to get started uh, we must go on composition and create a new composition. I'm going to name this as tutorial. Set the size by 1920 and the uh, for uh, 1080 and the uh, frame rate 30 and duration about 10 seconds as it is and let's press OK. Nextly let's right click on this empty canvas area and let's go on new and create a new solid I'm going to call this as example and let's click on make comp size make comp size press ok so uh, nextly we should go on this right here this is the, um, the depth of our video I mean the amount of of the the bits per channel uh, it's actually obvious that if we play with this this is going to increase a bit our file size but it's going to worth uh, on the final result and we'll see so let's choose uh, 16 bits per channel and press OK. <coughs> the next thing we want to do, uh, we must go on this Edit tab, but before going to there, we should uh, press Shift and then click on Edit, go on Preferences and check General. So on this, let's go down there and here, here you find the uh, the secret uh, panel of Adobe After Effects. Yeah, this is uh, this might be new for you if you don't know, but it's kind of a bug on Adobe After Effects. It's uh, a secret, let's say. Um, this uh, this little menu um, uh, is a secret menu. It's very it's very helpful for all of you uh, who are facing memory um, and performance problems with After Effects. Uh, this will decrease the the amount of crashes you have on your system uh, while working on it or just rendering. Uh, so first of all, let's disable the layer cache and click here on Ignore Sequence Rendering Errors. Uh, on this amount right here, uh, I already set it to five, but we uh, we should set the value uh, around five to fifteen, because um, if you're using motion blur on your project, uh, you should uh, you should make sure uh, you don't set the bridge like uh, too low, because After Effects use the previous cache uh, frames to generate the motion blur. So uh, let's not play with this uh, like too much. I'm going to set it to five again as it was, and just press OK. So uh, the next thing you want to do uh, to render this out is just press Control M to go to the render queue, and let's set the um, the output of our video. Mine is uh, on desktop. Let's press Save. And now let's click on the last less on this. Okay, so here we got this. Um, let's check uh, the format. We will set it to H.264. This format right here. Uh, if you don't see it, it's probably because you don't have uh, the QuickTime player installed, and you should install it. It's um, it's a really required plugin, uh, plugin or or codec uh, for uh, Adobe After Effects. So, the next thing you want to do is just check this little box right here, uh, which says "Include Source XMP Metadata." <laughs> uh, for you, if you don't know, what this does it that is that uh, it simplifies the After Effects work uh, and also sets this standard standardized information about a file such as the um, the author, the name, the color space, color correction, uh, copyright and keywords applied to the file. 
Um, you can use this. Uh, you can use this information to streamline your workflow and also to organize your your files. Uh, so will, it will uh, <laughs> easy. It will be um, simplify your life. Um, the next thing you wanna do, you wanna click on the format options, and on this tab right here, uh, make sure you you have the um, the bitrate encoding as CVR. And on the multiplexer uh, tab, you should have this one, MP4, and we're done. Press OK. Uh, down below, uh, it's very important. Uh, if you have audio, don't don't forget to to render it out if you want it. Uh, you can leave the the settings as they are, and right here the same, and press OK. So I guess we are pretty done with this. Um, Let's press render. I hope you guys like this uh, tutorial. If you have any doubt, you know, you can leave it on the comments or just by pressing uh, or just by sending a private message to me. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on my next tutorial.